Okay, everybody. I just finished my first workout by myself since doing burn boot camp. We are currently outside because there is no privacy here. I just got done doing the workout in the gym and I'm wearing my train insane. I don't know why my voice gets higher when I do that. Super comfortable. I don't know what kind of cotton they use, but it is freaking amazing. And it was pretty good. I have some critiques about burn boot camps video. Starting off, I went to the gym. We have some ellipticals and I decided to just do a, like a quick cardio hit session on them. Basically what I did was I took five minutes and I started out at level five. The first 30 seconds are your average speed and the second half of the minute is like you're all out. The next 30 seconds once you start minute two is when you go back to your normal speed and then you hit bump it up a level. So I started at level five and minute two, I started at level six doing like your pretty average pace. And then the last half of the minute, so the last 30 seconds, you go all out. And I did that for five minutes straight. And so got up the last minute was at level nine. It was really good. It was nice getting that little bit of a cardio, just like burst right in there to really get you warmed up and started. And then went into the studio area where I did part of, or at least what I could of the burn workout. And so one thing that you take for granted is is the floor in burn boot camp which is very forgiving on your knees so even though I put pads down on the wooden floor it was still really hard on my knees so the different workouts that they put in the first section where you're supposed to be doing push-ups it's in a type of like form of burpee I did that the first round and I couldn't do it anymore so I kind of modified <laughs> the workout uh, to the best of my abilities the thing that I didn't like about the burn video was that I had to keep on watching it over and over again for each and every single move so I had to pause especially through the first round and I had to pause it and watch the next workout pause it watch the next workout and kind of do it and so that was a little bit of a challenge and it kind of made the workout a lot longer than it was supposed to be as a critique to burn boot camp I would say make your introduction that was really good to just kind of see what the workout's supposed to be and then the second half pace it so that way somebody who's actually trying to follow at home can without having to take huge breaks in between. I watched the whole thing yesterday night but somehow managed to forget every single move. Let's be real, confession here, is that I did not do start at 18, <laughs> 18 reps. Did not do that. I started at 12 and I went down to six. So I was like, there's no way I'm doing 18, you know, mod down push-ups especially not on the gym floor because my knees were just screaming at me. I would say I did about a half an hour if we include the warm up and the cool down. I did not get as good of a workout in as I do normally at Burden. I did sweat a lot, surprisingly. I, I just felt like I wasn't working out as hard as I normally do. I miss Burden. Take me back. Is it Tuesday yet? Sorry I didn't get a pre-workout thing in. Yeah, I just was ugh, this morning. Just just kind of got to the gym. There's too many different changes. Like, literally forgot. Okay, I think that wraps up my thoughts. Okay, guys. I had some thoughts about the video that I just recorded before I went and took a shower. I felt like it was, it was not a positive video. I felt like it was really hard on myself as far as not being able to do a full burn workout. I should not have been so hard on myself for that. I was doing a workout alone for the first time in months and I still feel as though I pushed myself pretty dang hard. I need to give props to myself for first of all showing up to the dang thing. I could have easily just skip today. I could have easily just been like, and eh, since there's no external accountability here, I could just, you know, sleep in. Another confession is that I did sleep in. I slept in about an hour after I normally do when I do go to burn boot camp. I followed through with a promise I had made to myself. Even though it was an hour late, I still showed up. I gave it my all that I could when it was by myself. And that's the beauty of doing class workouts is that you get that external motivation, not only to show up, but to actually perform. The Kira of two weeks ago, heck, the Kira of like six months ago would, would have slept right through. And so you also need to be not so hard on yourself. Even though if you do do an at-home workout or if you do something on your own, you gotta give yourself a little bit more credit where it's due and you deserve the credit for if you followed through with your workout as long as you tried your best then you need to pat yourself on the back because that's awesome yeah so we're gonna go to work and then we're gonna go 
go to the river, man. We live right next to the Willamette River over here and we're gonna go do a river float or what we just like to call a float this afternoon because it's gonna be friggin' hot out. Give yourself the room to accept that you're trying your hardest as long as you're trying your hardest. Yeah, have a great day, folks. We'll see you later. Bye. Now I'm recording. Still learning how to use said GoPro. Basically, the gist of it is that we couldn't go on a float today because our flotation device sprung a leak. And we're on a really bumpy road, so we're doing plan B, which is still... <laughs> plan B is to just go hang out in the point where the float normally ends and just hang out in the water there. Alright folks, coming to you live from... Day two of my little gray area. All right, we're gonna do some multitasking again. Remember how I walked and talked at the same time? We're gonna be driving and talking at the same time. Today is a rest day. And I think it's a much needed one because I have some aches and pains going on here. So I've talked about my rolled ankle and there's always something going on, especially once you start starting exercises. So my right knee, and it's honestly been bothering me since last Saturday, like squats, and I especially noticed it yesterday, the top of the knee is hurting. So I'm like, oh, that's not good. I was still a little bit hungry after dinner last night, which was Subway. Who wants to cook when it's 100 degrees out? I was hungry after I ate a 12, 12 inch, no chips, no, no nothing, just the sub. And I was still hungry. So I was like, ooh. I really want something to kind of, you know, like, just nibble on, something crunchy. I'm one of those people where I need crunch in whatever I'm eating in order to feel, like, satiated. Who else experiences that? Moving on from the crunch. I still felt like I wanted something to eat, but I held myself back because I'm like, you know what? You you are within the range of what you're trying to aim for on a day-to-day -day calorie basis, so we're just gonna wrap it up for the evening. And I went to bed kinda hungry, kinda like, ooh, I could really use something sugary now, but mm, we gotta start breaking that habit that bad, bad habit that got us right into the place where we're currently at. And I have been really bad at nighttime snacking, getting through the day, eating just a little bit here, a little bit there, morally licensing. I got through the day with eating so little, so I'm gonna go eat some dessert. And by some dessert, I mean dessert size for a family. Those little Debbie's, you know, like oatmeal cream things. Oh my God, don't get me started. It was just so easy to just down like a whole box of those, let's be honest. Yeah, I could slam 12 of those back easily. Wrapping that up to coming kind of full circle. Went into the break room today to make my cup of coffee at work and noticed that somebody had left some big goods on the table. And I was just immediately starting to beat myself up over it. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't have it. I can't have it. Like, it looks good, but I can't have it. It's just going to be a sugar bomb immediately went into this very close mindset of shaming myself for like, how dare you wanting this thing that's sitting on the table right in front of you that multiple people are eating from? How dare you? You need to develop more self-control than that, Kira. You're better than that. And instead of obsessing over it for the rest of the day, we're going to compromise by taking a small slice of this, sitting down at my desk, and I enjoyed it. And I ate it. And I tracked it in my calories because this week isn't supposed to be about everything has to be to a T. Instead of totally shunning the thing and putting myself down for the rest of the day for even thinking about eating it, I had a small slice. I tracked it. Yes, it probably has high carbs. Yes, it probably has sugar. It was a space where I need to mentally forgive myself and understanding that I was making a good decision for myself at the time. So I ate it and then and I didn't think about it since. Not only will we be going to the Saturday free class, but since it's Labor Day weekend, I saw that Burn decided they're doing on Labor Day Monday, free classes in the morning. I said, Sean, we're going. We're going and we're gonna have such a good time. Oh, I'm so excited. I need high protein snacks. 
high protein everything. Tonight we're having chicken for dinner. I'm like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to have five chicken thighs in order to make up my protein intake for the day. Oh, I did get a protein shake in and I have a bunch of different smoothie recipes without fruit. I know, mind blowing. Minimal fruits, lots of leafy greens, all the good stuff. We're gonna try them out. All right, I think that's about enough for the day. Okay, bye folks. Average speed and then what was that? I should have realized last night, but I didn't. Yeah, I just need to like down a bag of cashews. That's how we're gonna do it. I can't talk to you, drive, and add at the same time. That's too much multitasking for me. You know, gnaw on. <laughs> God, I'm awful. This whole driving and vlogging thing is actually not that terrible.